It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Giants and the Arizona Cardinals. And it's all up next. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. Uh, CD, big changes underfoot here in the desert for 2023. Most notably, new coaching staff. But I guess change seems inevitable when you come off a 4-13 and season, does it not? Absolutely. I think you're perfectly on track with that. And I think some of the changes going to be on offense where they were a little more wide open. But now, a bit more buttoned up, I would anticipate. And on defense, head coach, that's his background. I think he's going to throw a lot of different things at teams, trying to keep his team in contention. Meanwhile, for the Giants, what a turnaround last season in year one of the Brian Dable era, Charles. Yes, they finished behind the Eagles and Cowboys, but they did win nine games and one more for good measure at Minnesota in the wild card round. Talk about establishing a new base, a new culture, and getting into the playoffs while doing it. So tough to beat this Giants team in the fourth quarter. They expect that to continue. The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. And we are underway here on EA Sports. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. And a look here at the veteran under center, their seventh-year quarterback. Brandon, I know he isn't at the status of some of the elite names in this league. But I do know he's an absolute fighter because he's heard all the criticisms. He's read the articles that say he isn't good enough to be the starter, and he absolutely does not care. All he wants to do is prove every doubter wrong and show that he belongs in this spot. Now the veteran workhorse is James Conner. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Now Dobbs. His throw incomplete. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. Got to shake that off and get going. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Here's Dobbs to throw. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. Taking it about the 36. 35 yards that time on the punt. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. And the Giants ready to go now on offense. And under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Playing for his Giants career, Jones' best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer. He was just the guy his team needed him to be. Someone who could threaten the defense throwing it and especially as a runner. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now the NFC's leading rusher a season ago. Here's Saquon Barkley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Got a man open. It's 
It's Darren Waller. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. You know, I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. Oh, all right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing Jones. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. As my dad used to tell me all the time when you're going ready to play a big time game, especially when you have one going into a dome setting, better strap it up tight because that crowd can really affect things. Especially on third downs like the one we just saw there with the incompletion. but he couldn't work it back in and this will remain a scoreless game everything looked good good snap good hold sometimes though the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it and this one winds up no good so the cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game and the last drive the first drive for them not very good three and out what do they go to here but you don't look down at your play sheet and say this is what the problem is yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That, too. <laughs> a nice-looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 25 yards that time. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, He's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. On first down, Downs to throw. Pass to the right, and he's got the bride. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. And the coaches always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? On second down, Connor looking for space. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this a little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. First and goal from the three. Connor. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. Now, now, after all of this, hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Back to throw Dobbs. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Zach Ertz, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals 
Bears are on the board first here this afternoon. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And the Cardinals will go up 7 to nothing. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with a Zach Ertz touchdown. Prater to kick. And from his end zone, here's Gary Brightwell. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Uh, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they were in field goal range the last time out, but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. Second down and six now. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. We've caught a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he, he was able to get outside there and make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. Now Jones. And a find the open man. Complete, and he will have a Giants first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven yard gain there on third and two. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there, and they get the first down. A first down carry for Barkley. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. After a couple of seasons of battling injuries, the former number two overall pick returned to Pro Bowl four with over 1,300 yards and 10 touchdowns. Just as important, played 16 games and handled over 350 touches, essentially carrying the Giants offense. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 43. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. So they give up the completion there. But defensively, Charles, you're going up against a quarterback here who's had some moments, but really a lot of ups and downs in the early part of his career. What's the plan against a guy like this? Well, you want to rattle him first and foremost. Bring some people at him, a couple extra guys in the pocket, see if he can handle it. The second thing, you want to make him think. Show him one more, go to another, disguise a few things, make him throw into what you call your defensive traps, and try to make some good plays on the ball and get a few takeaways. That's his first catch of the game, and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. Throw right side taken in by Bellinger. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. 
Throwing again on second down. Jones. And they're going to get him. He sacked back around the 28. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. They've got up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks him backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Gano's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7 to 3. So they are able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Off the play fake, here's Dobbs. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Well, he certainly thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. To throw is Dobbs. from the pressure the Giants get there. Dexter Lawrence able to bust free and get to the quarterback. The former first rounder put it all together in 2022 with career highs across the board and cemented himself as one of the faces of the Giants defense after an all-pro season. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. And call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught by Waller out left side. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside of 45. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Barkley inside handoff. 
And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 58 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. I don't care what the game plan was coming in. After these runs... You're running it, right? <laughs> you, you, you make sure you keep circling on your play sheet. Running plays that are working and keep patting those big offensive linemen on the back. They're doing a great job. It goes without saying, the defense is going to have to adjust to it In a big way, and they've got to figure out, do they have to sell out to stop the run, or can they just do it better than what they've done so far? And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they are looking at a second and five situation. Up the middle with Barkley. And he'll get this down only to the 18. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Out of the gun now on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. Barkley is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here. This close, sneak it. I don't think even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Barkley again. And not a whole lot there as they'll get him down at about the two. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and touchdown, Giants! Darren Waller! two-yard touchdown grab and the Giants have taken the lead but well, he is such a matchup nightmare down near the goal line CD and another example right there on that play for the touchdown it's borderline impossible to defend this guy because that kind of size he can still get out and run a crisp route and he has excellent hands even if you stick with him all the quarterback has to do is lob it up and he can win almost any jump ball Gano the extra point, and the lead is now 10 to 7. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And more, he's going to sit on this one, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Well, the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. On first and ten, Dobbs. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. 
and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. On first and 10 is Connor. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Good strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you gotta have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Dobbs throw here complete into the hands of Ertz. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. A give running right is counter. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. They created a nice sustained drive off a place like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Second down and four. Again, it's Connor. And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Dobbs. This one complete to Ingram. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? He got his shoulder square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. Right back to Connor here on first. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Second and nine. Throwing here, Dobbs. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Dobbs is throwing. Screen pass to Connor. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. So on is Matt Prater now to try a field goal here. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Prater's kick is good, and that will knock us up at 10. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Now at 10 apiece, 
as the kicks away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 30-yard line. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Off the play fake, Jones. Throw out wide is incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Looking to throw, Jones. And he's caught, and he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. A handoff to Barkley. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. 69 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Third and two. Back to throw. Jones. A quick throw there is incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. On uh, fourth down, Jamie Gillen on the punt for the Giants. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Now Dobbs. Got his man complete over the middle. That's counter. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Here's Connor on the read option. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. 
from the shotgun. Here's Downs. And that is incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Out of the gun, Dobbs. That's into the hands of Pascal. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. First down now, but that clock rolling. He's going deep for Brown. And he's got it inside the 10. A huge play there for Arizona. And even 40 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play. Don't we got caught it or ran it? But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Here's Dobbs to throw. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep him off the scoreboard here. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Dobbs. And he's going to go down, sacked right around the 17. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Here's Dobbs to throw. And that one too wide and incomplete. Credit the Giants defense that time in pass coverage. Fourth down. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. So on is Matt Prater now to try a field goal here. From the left hash, this from 34. Prater's kick is good. And they will take the lead at 13 to 10. Now the drive ends in just three, but they'll take it. Looks like they'll head to the locker room, barring something unfortunate in front on the scoreboard. Yeah, they may not be jumping up and down and celebrating because they have the lead, but still, any little momentum in a game like this is important to a team. And they feel real good about going in and regrouping, knowing that they are out in front. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. So we reach halftime here in Glendale with the Cardinals on top. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report.
Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Here's the Giants' offense now getting set to start the third quarter. Well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. but we got a tight one set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went into half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. They'll try the right side here, Barkley. There he goes, right side. Down the sideline he goes. Saquon Barkley, and all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley, 56 yards. And the Giants come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Sometimes running plays hit or break so fast, there's no reaction time from the secondary. So I've got to give credit to the offensive line for creating that hole so suddenly. And how decisive was he to take that cut and just go? No one downfield there to stop him. Extra point try, good by Godot. And that will make this a four-point game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That no open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Looking to throw. Dobbs. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And he'll be brought down on the 40-yard line after a gain of six. 
That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Third and four. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end. And he comes through for him, picking up the first down. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. They run behind center with Connor, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Here's a second and eight. Back to throw Dobbs. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. On first down, Dobbs to throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he's going to be stopped right there at the 21. That one goes for 24 yards. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. On play action, it's Dobbs. This will be caught once again by Brown. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Here's second and three. Back to throw. Dobbs. Touchdown, Cardinals! Zach Ertz! Beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Cardinals have retaken a third quarter lead. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they turn that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. Prater for the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards, and it ends with a Zach Ertz touchdown. to kick. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. It sees the lead there for a little bit with a starting drive in the third quarter, but a moment ago, the touchdown that puts them back behind. So their defense is under siege a little bit right now because they have not able to solve their opponents. So they've got to keep hammering away on offense and try and win this one in what appears to be a shootout. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that one complete to Hodgins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. 
One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. A handoff, Barkley running left. Oh, what a move. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. 133 yards rushing for him now as this sensational afternoon continues. From the 48-yard line, here's second and three. Again, it's Barkley. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And down to the 44, five yards that time. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Here's a second and five. Now Jones. And his throw here is incomplete. made here at the Cardinals 17 yard line a very solid gain of 27 oh that's a nice job of clearing space in the middle of the field for your tight end he's going to start behind the line and run an angle route hoping to kind of get lost in the middle of the field and this is put right on him and he's able to pick up a first down so from the 17 now here's a first and 10 Looking to throw. Jones. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. The sack goes to Chris Barnes. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Operating from the gun, Jones. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back. He scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. Gano's kick is good, and that's going to tie things at 20. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. Ten-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal. And for the offense, ten-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Cardinal offense takes back over. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. 
making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the uh, football. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. Dobbs throw complete there to Moore. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and 10, Dobbs, middle of the field, he finds Pascal. It'll be a gain of five. And it's second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Now an option play on second down. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. They lost four there, and it's third down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. To throw his jobs. Now pass complete to Moore. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something, that guy who's covering you, he's usually pretty good too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. Now the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Off the play fake, here's Dobbs. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. And that was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Throwing here, Dobbs. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, They've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. An option handoff given to Connor. Gets by him, and now a little daylight. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 70 yards rushing now for Connor, and a first down. Another carry for their leader, and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Xavier McKinney collapses the pocket and drops him for a loss of three. Well, free safety blitz, that can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Call it an eight-yard pickup, but it'll be third down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, 
this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Looking middle, and that's complete. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. From the gun, a give to counter. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Conner taking it in from 40 yards out. And the Cardinals have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. And this is the time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead. Extra point good by Prater. And they will take a seven-point lead. Touchdown out is Prater to kick. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And New York set to take the field. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Second and seven. They'll run it again with Barkley. No, oh, nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. Yeah, this will be a Giants first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? They go play action here on first down. They'll find Hodgins there complete. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That's good for 28 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Back to throw. Jones. This pass into the hands of Bellinger. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now second and three.
Jones with a hand off to Barkley. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave them with a third and about three to go. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. This is caught. Touchdown! Darren Waller, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Gano for the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that drives seven plays in length. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by Darren Waller. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And here comes the return from just beyond the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Dobbs. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard. Connor up the middle. Takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Here's Dobbs to throw. Looking for the out route, and he's got more. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, who can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Now Dobbs. Tackles made at the Giants 28. That one goes for 24 yards. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. All three timeouts plus the two minute warning. Here's first and 10. This is Connor running right. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Getting 
come down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. They face a second down, but they are in field goal range. Connor going to get it again on second down. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. But just a gigantic play here, both sides. This is third and inches. On third down, it's Connor. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Again, a run with Connor. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with just 70 seconds left to go in the game. Second down, eight yards to go. On second down, Connor looking for space. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Here's a handoff to Connor. And they're able to stop him short. On third and six, they'll only pick up four. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to take the lead here in the final minute. Crater's kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that, because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get in the field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And now out come the Giants. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. They'll come up first and ten here. Now Jones. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Come up now on second down. Jones. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be 